Hello everyone, my name is Kristen and this is my very first um, YouTube video that I'm making. I did want to say that um, I consider myself to be a beginner card maker and so I just wanted to show you that a project I came up with, it's actually based on a great idea by another YouTuber by the name of Lorraine. I'll try and put her information so that you can see the process in which she builds the card at the end of this video. But um, she did a very feminine card and so I thought it'd be really nice to do a masculine card for a man's birthday because I have several coming up that I have to make. And so this is just an idea that I came up with and so I'll go ahead and show you the products I used and what exactly I did and how I changed my design a little bit from the original um, just so it fit my needs. Anyways, um, here we go. First off, since it is a masculine card, I decided to um, go to Michael's and I looked at their open stock paper and I found this really great um, old vintage world map that I really liked. Um, the person I was making this card for loves to travel. He's very adventurous and just has a great time um, exploring. So what I did is I started off and the little luggage tag is great and I'll show you all the products that I used. Um, but I did the little book plate with the word adventure. I had the little luggage tag which has the last initial of, um, or his last name initial. And you open it up and here you have just the world map again. And up here is in the book plate, I just did a little portion just for de uh, decorative touch. And then inside the card is a message. I know it's hard to read. But it says, a birthday is just the first day of another 365 day journey. Happy birthday. Now this is a trifold car card. It's hard to see, but it's just one long card. And this is where my design um, changes a little bit from the original. I used, um, down here, I used a little card tag holder. And what I did is I made the tag and then I put in a blank tag right here so you could write your birthday message in. And when I cut out the envelope for it, I left a window because I'm going to be inserting a gift card tag. Now, obviously this is for a man, so I'm not sending him uh, high heels. It will actually be a Lowe's card, uh, Home Improvement. But it's the only card I had right now to use as an example for the video. Uh, yes, he's not into high heels. But uh, so it just slides in there with the little message card sticking out so they can see there's a message there. And it just folds up really nicely and there's a little velcro that holds it all together and so that's the card and the back is just plain but it's a nice little card very masculine and then the envelope I love the envelope because again it has the matching details of the book plate on the front and if you look at the envelope it's a quarter inch thick and what I love about this is that it doesn't crush all your embellishments you've done on the card. And I'll tell you about that and how I made that also in just a moment. The items I used for this card were tags, bags, boxes, and more. Fabulous finds, which I absolutely love this cartridge. I just got it. It's fabulous. And plant and school book. Um, that was one of my first ones I received. In fact, I think I might even got it with my Cricut Expressions. Okay, now the elements in the card. We're going to go back here now. Uh, first of all, you make the card um, just by cutting an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper in half and then scoring it um, long ways at 7 inches and 2 inches. And then it just makes the little nice trifold card. Once again, um, I'll give you the original link to this card um, at the end of the video so that you can see for yourself how um, to put it together. I didn't want to do that because I thought it might be a little bit redundant. But the actual book template here, it was made with the um, fabulous finds, so you can do all this detail work with the fabulous finds. I actually printed the word adventure on my computer and then cut out the design to go with it. Um, it's put on with brown silk ribbon. The luggage tag is also made with the fabulous finds. The initial um, was made with the plant and school book, and that was the only thing I used for the um, actual um, cartridge on there. 
inside once again you're using the fabulous vines um, I printed this on um, the computer once again and I just used an old script font to make it go with the old world map I thought that would be appropriate the um, quote I actually found online to go with the card and I thought it all went together well as far as the envelope card that was made with the tags bags boxes and more um, I was able to make the little envelope and the tag with the same cartridge so it was very easy went together pretty well it took me about an hour to make the card um, but I know as soon as you like get used to one design it's a lot faster process I do have another card I need to make for um, a woman and I, again I'm gonna need to do the gift card so I'm gonna make a same um, card for that but this time I'll make it with a more feminine design now as far as the envelope goes there's a product that I absolutely love and that's called the enveloper and you can make tons of different sizes of envelopes and it's just this little plastic thing and it has score marks in it and because it's at an angle it's perfect for doing the envelopes I know I got mine at Joann's um, with a 40% off coupon and I think I paid something like $13.99 for it it was a great investment again it doesn't crush the um, the embellishments on the card because it is a quarter inch thick now you can also do a regular size envelope if you want that's skinny without making it thicker it's completely up to you um, as far as everything that I use I think there's certain products that you have to have at least they're like my have to haves and they just make card making or scrapbooking so much easier I'm definitely a scrapbooker the card making is new for me but I'm enjoying it um, to start off with the Xyron this makes doing little pieces so much easier if you just have a little like the little initial on the B that was so much easier by just making it a sticker and putting it on so that's essential the Cricut obviously is essential over here you'll see that um, I have my cuddle bug another piece that I couldn't live without I use it all the time and my crocodile big bite this thing is fabulous it does all my eyelets and punching and setting for both scrap making and card making love it and this is something new that I got um, it's the scotch ATG gun I've seen them a lot in the videos but I have never seen them in stores I finally went online and found it I'm in love with this thing I'm actually gonna buy the 714 this is the 700 model which is half inch and three quarter inch tape I'm gonna be buying this um, 714 which is quarter inch and would highly recommend them fabulous so anyways um, those are some of my must-haves and again the envelope are perfect and um, if anybody really wants the directions on how to make this card I'll be happy to make it for everybody and show everyone how to do um, the process of it but again uh, Lorraine is the one I got the idea from I just changed it up a little bit and I will go ahead and give you her contact information on YouTube thanks for watching my first video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like the card take care bye bye